the fourth and final video in our baseball trick play series coming up next. In our first video in the series, we dealt with tricks that catch runners off bases. The second video dealt with tricks the offensive team could use, and our third video focused on the first and third plays. If you haven't seen those yet, I would recommend starting with the first video in the series as it sets the parameters for what we deem to be a trick play. In this fourth and final video, we will focus on some random plays. Not all the plays I'd personally use, as they aren't just considered Bush League plays, but border on poor sportsmanship. Others are just not successful very often, so while I'm not advocating all of these plays, here are a few more that teams have used. Not every team knows that a foul tip is a live ball. Using that knowledge can get you an out. How it can work is having a smart shortstop that simply says foul ball to the runner as he gets a second. The runner that stole second heads back to first and gets tagged out. That's Bush League 100%. But late in a championship game, who knows? Here's a game where we had to stop the other team's coaches from sending the runner back. We were up by 10 runs anyway, and this was a BPA tournament with good umpires that would not have let such a crappy move work anyways. Hey, hey, Brandon, step off the back. Step off the back. Okay, thank you. All right, get up. Live ball. The next video in this is the same thing at the Little League World Series, but the defense did not get the out. It may have left early, so he goes back to first base. Hey there. He's on a base. He thought they it was a foul, foul ball. ball. It wasn't a foul ball, so he could have been tagged out at any time. <laughs> he made all I don't know if ever seen that. It was caught. He stole a base and he gave it back. <laughs> Look out. Wow. Deking the runner. This one works more than you might think. Here, Derek Jeter is in his rather famous clip. Well, this is going to be a DP to get the Yankees out of the inning. <laughs> nice play by the captain. Where's the ball? Another option is this catcher, Adley Rutschman, acting like the throw is not coming, hoping the runner slows down. We also see outfielders pretending they're going to catch a fly ball that ends up going way over their head. Middle infielders pretending the ball is being thrown in from right field. There's one important issue with this. You're not allowed to pretend to tag a runner. That is obstruction, so no fake tags are allowed in baseball. Another trick you can try is for the batter to entice a balk by acting like time was called just as the pitcher starts his delivery. This is not legal, but too many umpires and coaches don't know the rules, so players do try it. A better option is to use this on a 3-0 count. Rather than just standing there taking a 3-0 pitch, you drop your bat and step back as the pitcher starts. Just don't leave the batter's box. In high school, stepping out of the batter's box when the pitcher is already in his delivery is an automatic strike. Here's a play that works sometimes for us with the 8 and 10 year old kids. Base is loaded and the catcher back picks to first, which gets the runner on third to come home where we get the out. It usually takes a couple back picks to first. The first one and the coach at third is telling his runner that if we do that again to run home. It's like fish in a barrel when it works. It does require a good first baseman who can get the ball back. Once players get older, this trick doesn't really work anymore, and it's too risky to even try. This next one will toss into the trick play bag, but I don't suggest doing it when ESPN cameras are everywhere. It's real poor sportsmanship, but it's done, so you might as well know about it. To the infielders, this one too short. Come home with a force, they get the out there. Did he drop the ball? He did. Jake Martin could not hold on to the ball. Let's take a look at it from a better angle. Yeah, let's see if he had it long enough. It looked like he caught it. 
ultimately, if he has control of it and his foot is on home plate, the play's over. Right. And he dislodges it as he comes across that right arm. That's my point. I saw A Rod swipe it out of the glove no, no, of Arroyo. For a pitcher, that, think... here's a trick pickoff move to first for a lefty or to third for a righty. I have two video clips of this move attempted, but neither time did it work. I am sure it has worked in high schools around the country, though. It requires a base runner who doesn't go back to the base just because the pitcher stepped off. And last but not least is the catcher back pick to second base. In Little League, this works as a trick, and yes, we are still leaving it wide open as to what we call a trick. The play requires that the catcher quickly throw the ball back to the pitcher after every pitch, the same motion he'd use as a back pick to second. At some point, if a runner is at second long enough, they get lazy getting back or they turn their heads. Once the catcher sees this, he simply throws down. Very simple, and it worked for us a few times. We actually had a good second baseman who heard about the play and begged us to try it. Here's that pickoff. 